Now that we've installed our blog over to uh, a DigitOcean droplet, uh, and we have all the files for it, it's time for us to set it up so we can actually visit that, uh, that blog in our browser and see it. Unfortunately, it's not going to be quite as simple as just taking this IP address of the, of the blog and uh, entering it into our browser and hitting return. And that's because we don't have any kind of server that's serving up the files. And that's because if we head over to the player here, uh, our files are just sitting in here in this Markdown book blog. So if we go into Markdown book blog and then book, uh, here's like index.html and everything else. We need some kind of server to serve that up when we try to hit this. Um, and uh, that's not necessarily, there's nothing here to do that yet. Now I could install some like basic server or I can create like one using something like Node.js Express or I can use like Rocket RS or something like that to like serve that up. But that's kind of also not, not as nice. Like there's a better tool for that, especially if I want to be able to serve up multiple of these blogs uh, to different domains, um, but on the same droplet, because that's the real power of using like a single droplet. I can now get multiple projects on here at once. So what I've done off screen is I've gone to um, my personal uh, domain account, which I'm using Google domains, and I've taken this IP address and I've created uh, two subdomains, uh, one called other blog, and one called test blog, and they both are pointing towards the same IP address. Now, it's still like for the same reasons, if I come to this other blog, which I'm, I'm sorry, it's a look really small screen uh, print on here. So if I just come to HTTP uh, other blog dot com, and I try to connect to that, it's, uh, it's just going to fail. And that's because we need that server set up for us. And we're going to do that using a tool called Nginx. So I'm going to switch back over to my admin account and we're going to do a sudo apt update just to make sure we have all the updated uh, repository list. Uh, nothing to update for us. Awesome. We're going to do a sudo apt uh, install engine X. And then we're going to say yes. And it's going to go ahead and install and then create our basic configuration files for Nginx. OK, that, that's great. To configure this, we're going to head over to slash Etsy uh, Nginx. And we're going to see here's all these default configuration files. There's actually not much we need to do to configure this. Uh, what we need to do is go into sites, um, uh, sites available, which are going to be the potential sites we want to, sh uh, to have Nginx serve for us. So we're going to go into sites available. And we notice right now we just have this default uh, default folder. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what what we can see. So I'm going to do a vim default. Uh, let's go ahead and have uh, set the, the background to dark so it's a little bit easier to read. And uh, here's what it looks like. All the hashes are comments. These are not going to be run for us. Uh, and we can see, OK, it's going to be this server. Listen on port 80. Uh, and here's where it's trying to serve the files from. So this var dub 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 HTML. Um, and then it's going to this index to HTML. It's looking for that file. OK, that that's all fine. Uh, and then a bunch of stuff about like if you need PHP available for for that as well. However, then there's this section here, uh, virtual host configuration for sub like for different domains. Uh, so this, if we see, also starts with server. So if we look back here, this starts with server and this starts with servers. They're kind of the same thing here. Uh, the big difference here is that we have the server name as the name of like the domain that it's coming from. So what I want to do is I want to just take this entire thing. I'm going to copy it. We're going to exit out and we're going to create one for other blog and then like the the test blog. So let's do one at a time and just like get them working and uh, and just sort of like see see the process for this. So I'm going to do a sudo uh, vim 
Uh, we have to do sudo vim in order to like make sure that it's owned by the correct user. So uh, we need to make sure this is owned by root. So sudo vim, we're going to call this other blog. And I'm going to paste this in here. And I also need to just take away all these comments. Okay. So listen to port 80, that, that's going to be fine. Um, listen, okay, server name, example.com, that is incorrect. So I'm going to take whatever the domain that I set up for this is. So this is um, other blog, works patent.com, okay. Uh, root, okay, so where, where can it find like the entry? Where can it find the files that it's looking for here? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna come back over to Bl Deployer and I want to head over to that other first because we're gonna do that one first. So CD into other. Here's that index.html page. So I'm gonna do a PWD and just copy this. And you are gonna go into here. Uh, root index.html, that is indeed the file. If for some reason you have like a very old school uh, uh, files and you're doing like index.htm, uh, then you would need to put that here. And then uh, location for slash. So on the slash root, uh, we're gonna try to get the files. And if you can't find the files for some reason, then give it a generic 404 page. Okay. That's everything we need for like the basic setup for this. Let's go ahead and now make sure that everything is working correctly. What I can do to test the configuration files is I can do a sudo nginx-t, which is going to just load the config. It's not gonna run anything. It's just gonna tell me, okay, did I do everything successfully? Is it, is it okay? However, this isn't gonna work yet because we have this other blog here. And um, we need to make this enabled. We need to enable the sites. Well, if you remember, there was another sites this, uh, folder for us. So we're gonna CD one out and into sites enabled. And all of this folder has is sim links to sites enable, uh, sites available showing what ones are actually enabled. So right now it's default. So let's go ahead and remove the default one. And they're going to create a new one for sites enabled for this other site. So sudo ln s. We're going to go out into sites uh, available. Other blog and create that here. So now we can see here is other blog pointing towards this. I, if we do our nginx t, once again, things are looking good. So it's time for us to now actually restart our, our service. To do that, we're gonna use uh, system control. So we're gonna do uh, sudo uh, system control um, reload and then nginx. Okay, so now that's reloaded. Uh, let's come back over to our web browser and for this HTTP, Hit return and hey, look at this. We now get this hello other blog here when I when I come to this other blog. Okay, great. Now let's do the same thing for the um, uh, the the test blog. So I'm going to come back to sites available, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy other blog to uh, let's do like test blog. Did I, oh, sudo copy other blog to test blog. Now I can do sudo vim test blog. Uh, okay, so again, listen on port 80. Uh, server name, this needs to be changed. I actually did write it down. It is, in fact, test blog. Yep, I am correct there. Test blog. Uh, root is not going to be the same thing as this other. So 
This is going to be changed. Let's come over here and find out exactly what that is. So we're going to go into our Markdown book blog. We're going to go into book. PWD to this and copy you. And hey, oh, I need to paste it a little bit farther back. There. So home deployer markdown book blog book. That's where it's going to find this index.html file and then everything else is the same. Um, okay, so we're going to now go back into sites enabled and we're going to create another symlink for this. So uh, symlink and we're going to go out to sites available, test blog and go here. And we're going to do sudo and do the exact same thing to make sure we have permissions to it because otherwise it won't let us. There we go. Now we see here's our test blog and it's going there. I forgot to delete the, the, the default. So let's do that. We have to remember everything we do here because it's owned by root. We have to do with sudo. So sudo remove default. There we go. Now we have this other blog and test blog. Uh, we can do our sudo engine x dash t again to test everything. It's just fine. And so I want to rerun that entire like command again. Uh, so one of the easiest ways to do this is like a reverse lookup. So I'm going to do a control shift R and we remember it was a sudo system control reload engine x. It sort of like has everything in here. I can just hit return and it just runs that for me. So let's head back into our browser here. So other blog, if I hit this still, we're at this other blog. And now if I copy you, go to another browser window. And instead of other blog, we now do test blog. We get our full book blog here. And so this is now a way for us to easily have multiple applications running on the same server, but different domains are getting access to them. And it's a, it's a really cool way for us to like basically have, it, it, it makes everything cheaper now because for $5 a month, we have our one uh, VCS. And now we, you know, now each site is only costing $2 and 50 cents. I can add a third, a fourth and a fifth. Nginx is very low, um, low requirements computer wise. So it's not gonna take up very much CPU or memory to serve up these static files. And then those like static files are very easy to like, you know, just add more onto it. If we have like a full application or a full server, that might be a slightly different story. But for something like this, we can get a lot of these on here and a lot of bang for our buck. So that's one of the reasons I really like DigitalOcean for something like this. Um, all right. Now we've got uh, Nginx set up for us. So um, in our future upcoming videos, we're going to be uh, we're going to be securing this and uh, maybe doing a little bit of automated uh, updating for our blog. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then. Bye.